This fuzzy plant is called Caputia medley woodii. Actually, it used to be in the genus Senecio, but I think it was actually recently moved out. And this plant is native to South Africa and Swaziland. And you could tell by this plant, it has this nice woolly white coat. And it probably is accustomed to being out in really harsh conditions, probably high light conditions. So I have this plant growing in my Southwest facing window. I actually have two plants and both are growing in a Southwest facing window. So I can't tell you that I'm giving them two different light conditions because I'm, I'm not. They're, probably six feet away from one another, just in different windows. And I absolutely love this plant because of its woolly nature. It kind of reminds me of lamb's ear, if you're familiar with that one that grows in the wild. And actually touching this is, is like petting a, a kitten, which is uh, super nice. One of the things that I have to say about this is actually one of these has mealybugs. So it is so hard to find the mealybugs on this plant because not only do mealybugs kind of hide within the petiole and kind of under the leaves, but they kind of are camouflaged in with this fuzzy white nature. So you do have to be a little bit cautious about that because since getting these, and I've had these for about three years now, I see that they are susceptible to mealybugs. I already mentioned that this really likes to be in full sun. And in regards to watering, I'm pretty much watering this once a week, even in full sun conditions, because with this really succulent stem, these succulent leaves, and this kind of white fuzz on the leaf, it's really being protected from too harsh of rays and also from that you know water evapotranspiring out of its leaves. As far as fertilization goes, you could probably give this a little bit more of a cacti fertilizer, maybe something in the three, four, seven realm. And if you, you actually start to fertilize this uh, once a month, that should be perfectly fine for this particular plant. I don't know what else to say about this, but it's like, I've got a really interesting leaf. I very much like it. You know, I'd originally thought that this was a Senecio given the way that the, the flowers are, but like I said, recently it got moved to a different genus, which according to the plant, it really doesn't matter. But if you like the little whiteness of this plant and the fuzzy nature of it, it'll give you a little bit of diversification from all that green foliage plants that you might be getting.